when Lee Carsley um, begins his certainly interim interim reign as uh, the man in charge of England. He announces his first squad for the upcoming Nations League games. Um, uh, of course, Ireland, Finland, the opponents. What do you think? I, I know what's coming back at me here. Are you in any way excited about what he may or may not do regards squad announcement here? Um... No, I'm curious. I'm not excited. Yeah. I'm, I'm not excited because I don't think he's going to. I don't think revolutions start at full tilt. So if we're expecting a revolution from him, I think we'd be probably misguided. I mean, there isn't a lot wrong with the England team, besides the way that they were asked to play, because we cannot take these domestic successes that are flying in every league that they play in, every side that they play in, and look at them and rec and recognise them when they're playing for their country. At certain times, there's certain parts of the game where you can see the similar traits that, they, that make us so enthused by them when we're watching on a week-by-week, month-by-month basis in domestic football. So I don't feel that there's that much that needs to be changed besides the way that we're going to play. I wrote about it in my column. I, all I hope for from Lee Carsley, if he actually end up getting the job, is he has the balls to play fun foot football against bigger sides. Mm. Because we've got the players. We believe we've got the players. If these players ain't any good, why are Real Madrid signing them? And why are teams like Man City buying them and playing them in the best team? And I know that they're playing with other players from mixtures of all parts of the world. But our players offensively were considered to be the the ones to watch out for in this tournament in the Euros and we didn't see it. Now whether that's because Kane wasn't fit and a whole raft of things that go on with Kane, but I I don't I don't expect him to break an omelet. No. To make no. it up to break eggs to make an omelet. I don't expect to see Harry Kane jettisoned and Declan Rice made the captain. No, right. Or Ben like. White coming in. Do you well think? he doesn't he doesn't merit it. No. In All any right. shape or form. Well should Carsley be judged as interim or the next England manager in waiting? Look, I if I if I if I knew the mindset of the FA, I'd work out how to be bone idle and do nothing of any substance. <laughs> I don't know what their mindset is, but I would suggest that there's a, a significant indication that they've been this route before. It, in their minds, has worked out well. In lots of people's minds, getting to quarterfinals, semifinals, and two European championships and using, losing the bleeding lot every time is will, real progress and wonderful to look at. Um, so they'll see that as a blueprint that's worked. They'll look at Spain and say, well, if they can do it over there ignoring the culture differences and the attitude and outlook and the composition of the playing squad and say, well, we can do it over here. So I think it's his to get. I think it's his to get. If he goes and plays in against the Republic Ireland and the Finns and perhaps the Greeks, if they extend to that period of time, and all of those results go the way that they bloody well should. Hmm. So his mission is to be more front-footed. I mean, well, no, but he, have a team that's more front-footed. Well, his mission must be more of the same because they wanted to keep Gareth Southgate, wasn't it? They weren't, they weren't unhappy with the style of play. They did, they so did. with that in mind, it depends who's, de who's defining his mission. If you and I, as the viewing public, not so much you as a Scot, but me as an Englishman, watching the English team play, I would suggest that I want to see an entertaining side that puts it upon the opposition and asks a lot of questions and plays this kind of football that most people enjoy um, watching when it's when it's being played by Spain or being played by other teams that play on the front foot yeah. and exhausting the potential of the players and then realising that we've exhausted the potential and we're good enough or exhausted the potential and we're not good enough and we can accept that. So it depends who's asking him. If the nation is asking him, they'll be saying, pick up the slack from where we got to and make this more exciting and entertaining and make us something to be feared and not, some, not someone that spends their entire time worrying about what the opposition is going to do listening to international managers describe how difficult it was to break down the triangle of play that Switzerland put together. Cobblers, if you're on the front foot and you're the team in ascendancy, let the opposition worry about you. Okay. So that's what I hope for from Lee Carsley. And maybe he'll be there and maybe he won't. Um, Ryan has got very brave and cheeky today. Here we go, Brexit, Jordan, that must be you, thinks Ben White doesn't merit a place in the England squad because he <coughs> dared to turn down a previous call-up. Ben White is the best right back in the league. Carsley would be a fool to leave him out. I think that he's entirely entitled to his view. First of all, what Brexit's got to do with it, I have no idea. Um, but that's what they do, is they throw little monikers at you because they can discredit your argument. My yeah. argument is, my argument is not about Brexit, Brian. My argument is about whether somebody didn't have the character to overcome the challenges that he had whilst playing for England, turned his nose up at playing them, should be rewarded by being brought back into the ultimate privilege of representing your country. I think... That's not right. I think you should have the substance and the character to represent the honour that there is 
and to overcome the adversity that you may have experienced, which made you want to be excluded from England squads. Maybe maybe it was he didn't get on with somebody within the old regime, and now this is a clean slate, and sure, I'll give maybe, my all. But maybe he's shown a characteristic which isn't admirable. If, if the only people that we can work with or the only people that we can uh, 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 relate to are the ones that we like and the ones whose opinions we agree with, then we're a pretty pathetic, myopic, one-dimensional, characterless sort of society. That's why people are constantly in arguments because they can't accept someone else's point of view. You might not like someone else's point of view, but when you throw monikers around like Brexit Jordan, what's that got to do with my argument about Ben White? Is he, a, is he not a European citizen and so he shouldn't be playing for England? Mm. Buffoon. Mm. You're going to insult me, insult me about my argument, not about what my political leanings might be. I told you, Ryan, you were going to get it. Where, where Ryan is right, though, he's an is fan. that he's, he, if he's not the best, and he is amongst... the shorts down as well. That annoys me as well. He's amongst the best right-backs in the Premier League, if not the best, so why not pick him? But, uh, but part of that also... And Regardless I don't, of how I don't, high I don't, I don't disagree. Shorts I don't disagree with the fact that, the, that he's a very capable football player. Yeah. But also part of it is character, isn't it? is substance of mm. going in the trenches and knowing that the person next to you will come over the, over the wall with you. That fella, he's too busy laying on a sunbed, brushing his hair and pulling his shorts up on his butt cheeks. Oh, maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe there are those out no, there though, that thought he, he showed a bit of character by saying no to England at that particular time. And that's an alternative. And argument. even more character by saying, include me if you want. And that's fine. No. That's, that's an alternative. It's not one I agree with. I don't think that's character at all. I think that's looking after yourself. Doesn't suit me. Bit hard. Didn't agree with that. Don't like the way I've been treated. Not having any of that. Mm. That's that's that to me uh, typifies the modern day expectation of a footballer. Can you imagine if some of these guys lived in a day and age when they were actually told the truth about their shortcomings? What would happen to them? They'd all be in. They'd all they'd all be in under sedation somewhere because they couldn't cope with it. Gareth get three tournaments. How many do you think Carsley should get? I don't know. I don't know the measure of the man. Or He's, the next manager, if it's not him. Um, I think the England managers should be based on a tournament by tournament. What is the point of giving an England manager a job? He goes to the next tournament, which, by the way, we should qualify. Forget what happened in with McLaren and forget what happened with uh, uh, other managers like when Don Revy departed and Ron Greenwood couldn't get us for the 78 World Cup and look at the here and now and say... Isn't the business of being at a tournament what an international manager is about? Because you should qualify. Look at the minnows we play mm. in qualifying groups. Mm. I mean, it's a stroll up. Mm. When we get to a tournament, you should, they should be judged upon their tournament. If you go to a tournament and you're absolute crap, why would you want to have them for another tournament just because you gave them that contract? Tournament by tournament. Yeah. Merit. Enough. Ryan tweeted you there, didn't he? Brexit, Jordan. No, I just think you. people are wallies. Yeah. If you're going to dismantle someone's argument, why, why, why categorise them under a moniker? Because you think that diminishes the person, then mm. what comes out of their mouth mm. is no longer valid. There's Ben. I don't he's, like it. Not Ben White, but another Ben. He's jumped on it. Brex, What's he say? Brexit boy uh, hasn't taken that well, has he? Taste of his own medicine. What medicine do I give out then? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, uh, what we do know is that Pep has been very generous by scattering a few quid, a few thousands here and there, uh, amongst uh, his first team staff. We'll look at that in a second. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.